The Chris Evans Breakfast Show with Sky. In the news this morning, Snow Patrol bagging the most played track of the 21st century so far with Chasing Cars. Now they're working on new music and have just released the first track of their 25th anniversary celebrations. It's the world's loveliest frontman, Snow Patrol's sensational Gary Lightbody. Good morning, Gary. Uh, hello, how are you doing? Uh, very nice well, meet, how are nice you? Nice to see you, Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> and see you and everything else. So, Gary, are you are you still going to purport not to have known about the fact that Chasing Cars would be voted, or, or actually, it's not been voted as it has become the most played song of the 21st century so far, the very morning you come in here to tell us about your new stuff? Did you not know about no, that? No, we didn't. We, di- we didn't know until a few days ago. Um, it was the PPL had their 85th anniversary sort of celebrations last night and they gave out a few awards and that was one of them, the most played track of the 21st century. You know, there's another 81 years to go. Yeah, but you'd, you'd take the first 19 years though, wouldn't you? <laughs> We'd take the first 19 years, no bother. Like, absolutely. We're absolutely delighted, yeah. Okay, but it didn't make it to number one. And earlier on, Rachel and I were discussing the fact that, do you think he'll swap uh, not making it to number one for the most played century, most played track of the century so far? And we... We thought you'd be we happy thought you'd be, with ha- be all right with that. Yeah, we've never had a number one. We had a number one um, vicariously through Leona Lewis. Leona Lewis's cover of Run got to number one. So that's the only, <laughs> not the only time one of our songs has been at number one. Okay, so 25 years in the business? 25 years? 25 years since the band, since the band started. Um, okay. and I was at Dundee University, 1994. All I wanted to do was start a band as soon as I got to university. On the first day at Dundee in Scotland, I met somebody um, from Belfast, <laughs> Mark McClelland, who right. I started Perfect. Snow Patrol with. <laughs> so I went, to, I went to Scotland to start a Northern Irish band. So, so how proficient were you at, at instruments or vocalising or I, like writing I mean, lyrics? I mean, immedi- pretty much I got a few guitar lessons when I was maybe sort of 13, 14 I didn't li- I didn't particularly like the lessons um so I took the chords that I learned in those lessons and I started writing songs pretty much immediately um and they were very very bad songs for a long time some and people you- might argue they still are no they don't <laughs> and, and were you called Snow Patrol straight away no we were caught co- <laughs> Oh, oh, here god. we go. This is good already. Oh, <laughs> oh god, we were called Shrug, which is the worst name for a band ever, because it literally is the universal symbol for meh. <laughs> um, and uh, and then we were called Polar Bear, and there was a band already called Polar Bear, which we didn't know about, and they threatened to sue us, and uh, that's when we became Snow Patrol. So why Shrug and why Polar Bear? Well, I am. Um, I'm not sure about Shrug. I, I have no idea. <laughs> I was drinking a lot of the time. But um, the, shrug, um, shrug the, so the, the polar bear, mainly because I like polar bears, they're big and cuddly, but they'll rip your face off. And I like that. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Can I ask you about the name of your first EP as Shrug? Oh, geez. It was, it doesn't read well. You have to say it out loud. And that's the thing where it fell down. It was called the... <laughs> Uh, so just remember, we were called Shrug, which is bad enough. And the first EP was called The Yogurt versus Yogurt Debate. <laughs> which is I'm liking it. all this. I <laughs> think this is all fine. Thing. But if it's written down, <gasps> if it's written down, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry about this. We have to talk about that now. <laughs> so what about the yoga and yogurt debate? What, where did that come from? It's, by the way, it's a great debate. It's and a, now the two yeah. have sort of come together, haven't they? In the yeah. well-beingness of the... the 2019s. You can say what you like now these days, but it was a big raging debate at the time. So, so what? 1994. It's on everybody's lips. Um, <laughs> the... <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the, the most memorable Snow Patrol moment. The one that had most meaning to your life. Um, we played. We just did the third one there, a, a gig in my hometown of Bangor, Ward Park, um, and the second one. Um, probably uh, stands as probably the greatest moment in in, in my life. Um, it was the biggest gig ever in Northern Ireland. Um, Forty two thousand people in a field in the town, the in the in the park that I learned to play football in, and it was uh, yeah, it was a it was a very special moment. We got the whole family together, all our families, everybody, all the guys' families were there and friends and stuff, and we all had a big party. It's funny, isn't it? Because often, you know, because we're very fortunate about what we do, and we've experienced. Uh, our, our own highs and been with other people or, or while they experienced theirs or talked about other people after they've experienced theirs and it's very difficult to out celebrate a job that is has an inbuilt celebration to it this is very very true and it's since i've quit drinking it's very hard to um, figure out a way to celebrate the the celebrations because <laughs> i when we finished the album um the last album wildness i 
I'd stopped drinking by then and I just was like, why do we, how do you celebrate it? How do you celebrate something without booze? And it is a very, it is a very strange kind of feeling to go, we used to put a full stop on this. Yeah, you, you don't need to. <laughs> you know? That's the whole point. It's, it's the take on, on the, it's not how do you celebrate it. It's, well, it's, you don't need to. It's a celebration. It's, it's a, a celebration in itself. Time won't go slowly. Uh, this is a new offering. This is the beginning of what? This is the um, this is kind of our because it's twenty five years where we decided to even though we brought an album out last year we decided to bring another record out this year um, but most of it some of it's new songs like time won't go slowly but most of it is re reworkings of old songs um, we did a tour ten years ago called the rework tour and it's kind of the tenth anniversary of that it's the twenty fifth anniversary of our of our you know beginning and uh, we wanted to kind of um sort of mark that by looking back over some some old songs and record them in a way that we would do it now um and see if uh, we we coughed up any gold and uh, they some of them sound really really great the chris evans breakfast show with sky